You might think that you're a football manager expert and you know every wonder kid under the sun, but I'm thinking today I'll have some that you've never heard of. We'll be looking at 10 secret wonder kids in FM23. I guarantee there'll be a handful of players on this list that even the most experienced player won't have heard of. So with that being said, let's run the intro and get right into it. Hi everyone, Jake here for FM Scout, and as mentioned today, we'll be looking at some hidden wonder kids in FM23. Ten to be exact. My criteria for these players is one, we haven't spoke about them on the channel as of yet, and two, they have a low reputation in game. If you don't know, every single player in the world has a reputation rating that is hidden from you. It's out of 10,000, so for example, if we took Phil Foden here, go to edit player attribute details. His current reputation is 8,150 out of 10,000 which is particularly high. All of the Wonder Kids in today's video have a low value for this and will hopefully be people you've never heard of. Players of all ratings and abilities, so let's show you player number one. Don't forget, if you do enjoy this video, to smash the like button for us, it would mean a lot, and subscribe if you haven't already, as we push for 150k subs. But our first player is going to be 18-year-old Norwegian national Saiver as who plays for a club called Odds BK in the Norwegian divisions. This six foot one central midfielder has a low reputation as all players will on this list, but actually is a very nice pickup for three or so million pounds. Nicely rounded physical attributes that will get better in the next couple of years as he reaches those early 20s and his mentals are decently balanced as well. The same goes for his technicals. Nothing is amazingly stand out, but you could certainly see this guy becoming a high level playmaker in world football and can certainly play at a higher level than where he is now. So if you're looking for a cheap option in the midfield who won't ask for too much on the wages, then Cyber as would be a great choice for you. I'm going to take a punt and say if anyone knows anyone from this list, it would likely be Dion Drenner Beljo, who has been getting such a growing reputation in the FM world as almost a mini Erling Haaland. This Croatian monster plays for Uzjek in the Croatian divisions. He's six foot five with incredible physical attributes, great mentals as well, a massive forward who's still good technically and is going to dominate the defensive line. Just as a quick side note on the FM Scout Twitter that you can find in the description. We've been releasing daily Wonder Kids spotlights on Wonder Kids that aren't going to get a full video made on them, showing you what they could look like in a few years time. So do make sure you are following us over on Twitter. But I think he's a top level striker and one of my favourites on this list. Another good Norwegian bargain player, we have 19 year old Odin Thiago Holm, who is an attacking midfielder or central midfielder. He plays for Valrenga in the Norwegian divisions and at the start of this save is wanted by Porto. So act fast and try and get a free four million pound deal over the line for this five foot eleven attacking midfielder who has great physical attributes all around and even at the age of 19 if these attributes never went up again I'd still be pretty happy with those great mental attributes as well strong determination decent vision passing and technique he's got some flair in his game he's a good dribbler with good first touch and this guy could certainly develop into a top level playmaker playing for some of the biggest clubs in world football once he's fully grown. Considering how cheap he is, I really would go out there before more clubs like Porto start sniffing around. So try and sign him if you can. Now let's move on to player number four. And it's a 16 year old Brazilian player we're looking at. But before we talk about him, I'd like to let you guys know, I do have my own channel linked in the description where we have a Leicester save going on currently, as well as some one-off rebuilds on the way soon. A lot of you guys have came over and have really enjoyed it. We've just got past the 10K subscriber mark, but if we can keep it going, That'll be phenomenal. So thank you to anyone who comes and checks that out. But player number four is Cal Brasilia, a 16-year-old Brazilian youngster. He plays for Fluminense out in the Brazilian divisions. And whilst his physicals leave a lot to be desired, at the age of 16, they will get a lot better. The same goes for his mental attributes, but it's his technicals that make him stand out because for about £1 million, you're getting a player who's a great dribbler, good first touch with good passing, long shots and technique. He's clearly got a lot of potential to be a star and at the age of 16 he's got so much room to grow and you can mold him into whatever kind of attacking midfielder you like. The next one is an interesting one as with every player in this list they have a low reputation and this wonder kid is Trilly. He plays for Spanish side Deportivo La Coruña and this right back to me looks like great value. Probably not for an elite level club but if you're a championship level side looking for a player 
to eventually take over that right back spot, there's a good chance Trilly will either do it or make you a huge profit if he doesn't make it and you sell him on. Now, obviously, with all of these players, scout them first because their potential is going to fall within a range. So in some of your saves, they might be excellent. And in other ones, they might not be worth picking up. So make sure you scout them first. At the age of 19, he's used up a few of his development years, but he's still got some time to grow, even if it won't be by a crazy amount. But he's pretty well rounded physically, not too many issues there. Six foot tall, some decent mental attributes. He can pass fairly well a decent tackler, good at marking. Let's be real, he's not the best going forward, nine dribbling, eight crossing, but you can kind of develop that out of him if you wanted to, or what I would do is make him a defensive fullback and have your left back bombing forward. But for that kind of money, I really don't think you can go wrong with Trilly. This player is definitely one if you're playing in, say, a championship level, so a second division in England or something of that equivalent. It's a 17-year-old Scottish central midfielder, Lewis O'Donnell, who plays for Dundee United and can be picked up for a measly sum of around 300 or 400,000 pounds. Now, again, he's got a lot of room left to grow, but his mentals and his physicals are not great. One leadership, five determination, only six six strength, nine acceleration. He's not the best and there's a reason why he's so cheap and wouldn't be good for an elite level club, but his technicals are actually very strong. So my suggestion would be sign Lewis O'Donnell, give him some time to develop in your youth teams, mentor him. Yes, he's never going to be a world beater, but he'll certainly make you a profit. Just put your scout on him first to see how much potential they actually deem him to have because his potential range is on the lower side. But still, he could be worth that investment and could be a great player for you. One of the more commonly known players in this list, but still has a low enough reputation to make it into this video, is 18-year-old Argentinian Benjamin Dominguez, who plays for Gymnasia in the Argentinian divisions. He's quick, agile, and has good acceleration, great technicals and mentals as well. No real issue with him here, and he has a low price of about four or five million pounds. But be aware, he is wanted by some of the top clubs in the world, if I can hover over it. There we go. Arsenal, Liverpool, Man U and Tottenham. So some big Premier League sides that are going to be interested in this player. So it is going to be a battle to get him, but there clearly is some talent there. And if you are at an elite level club and you're able to try and sign him, he's definitely going to be worth the money. Either be a star for you or make you plenty of profit. A real handful on that left-hand side and one that I think is a great choice. A slightly cheaper and lesser known Argentinian wide player though is Fabrizio Senna, a 17-year-old playing for Boca Juniors who's available for around £3 million ish. Very much an old-fashioned out-and-out winger, right-footed on the right-hand side who's got good crossing. That is going to be his role for you but he does actually have good finishing as well, some nice passing and technique. Now realistically at the age of 17 even with a lot of growth he's probably not going to be a player that has exceptional technical mental or physical attributes you can see there is a lot lacking in his game but when we highlight the role of winger and we look at the attributes that he needs he's pretty good in all areas I mean there's a few that need some work but overall if we can increase his dribbling a little bit his anticipation and forget about the low determination we could actually make him into a good player and he is a decent option on that right flank the most expensive player in this list is Cagliari's right-sided player Zito now the reason he he is so expensive is because the game classes him as a regular starter for Cagliari. An Angolan 20 year old with seven international caps already, this left footed right sided player has great physicals, good mentals, and decent technicals as well. Does need some work, but his reputation is still considered fairly low in football manager terms, so I am still keeping him on this secret Wonder Kids list. Obviously, there's a few more that are hidden. I mean, we're talking about a player who plays for a Serie A side here, but even still, his in game reputation is low enough to make it into this video and if you're a club who maybe can't compete for those top players in world football then Zito might be a good choice and Cagliari might be willing to sell him and he could be a strong player for you on that right hand side. For our final player though we go over to the second division out in Germany and to Hanover 96 where we will find 17 year old Italian forward Nicolo Tresoldi. Now this six foot striker could be the perfect advanced forward because his physical attributes look great as are his mental and his technicals are really well rounded he's got a great base set to build up from here and by the age of 20 I could see a lot of these being 15s or higher and he could be an elite level striker 
by the end of his career. I think he could play for most clubs in the world at full growth and even looking at him right now is more than good enough for the Bundesliga already. He can have some pretty high potential as well. To be specific, in this save, within his potential range, his potential has been randomised at 158, which would make him a pretty high level striker at full growth. So Trezoldi is certainly one to keep an eye on, not wanted by anyone at the start of this save at least, so he could be someone that you're able to pick up without much competition. Hopefully Hanover will be willing to sell and then he could be a great sign-in for your side and maybe even a future striker for the Italian national team. But there we go, that is 10 secret wonder kids in FM23. Hopefully you wouldn't have heard of all of them. I'm going to guess half or more, even the most experienced player wouldn't have known. Again, we were looking at players who had a low reputation out of 10,000 in FM23. Don't forget, if you have enjoyed the video, to smash the like button for us, subscribe for more, and check out my channel linked in the description down below. But most of all, you know the drill. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, and goodbye.